Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we are going to solve our questions from chapter 8 motion, which is there in uh, our science subject of class 9. So this will be your exercise questions and uh, after completing the exercise questions, we will be moving towards the in-text questions which are there in the chapter. So let us have our first question. Okay, the first question is an athlete completes one round of circular track so let us draw a circular track this is our circular track this circular track is having diameter of 200 meter so uh, the athlete is if it is starting from here so let it be this position is there from where the athlete is running and is moving on the circular path so the complete one round in completing uh, one round athlete takes 40 seconds so let us see here what will be the length of the circular track that is the circumference of circle circumference of circle is given as 2 pi r so it is 2 pi r 2 multiply with pi radius will be if diameter is 200 meter so radius will be half of the diameter so 200 upon 2 it will be 100 so r is 100 meter so if you place this is the r value if you place the value of r here 2 pi r so it will be 200 pi meter so 200 pi meter is covered in 40 seconds now the question is what will be the distance covered and displacement at the end of 2 minutes 20 seconds. So we have to find the distance and we have to find the displacement and this should be uh, we have to find at the end of 2 minute 20 second. So if I convert this to minute 20 second in seconds, so it will be 60 plus 60, 120, 120 plus 20 that is 140 seconds. So at the end of 140 seconds, what will be the distance and what will be the displacement? This is the question in the book. So if it is, uh, if an athlete is covering 205 meter in 40 seconds, so let us find out in one second, it is covering X meter. Just cross multiply the things, it will be 200 pi divided by 40 so it will be 0 0 get cancelled 4 into 4 4 pi into 20 so it will be 5 pi meter so it will be 5 pi meter that will be the uh, distance in one second now uh, if you want to find out the distance here let us see here the distance in 140 seconds in 140 seconds how much distance it is covered let it be x meter so here in one second you have got that the distance that read is covering as 5 5 meter so cross multiply the things x will be equal to 140 multiply with 5 5 so it will be uh, 1405 multiply 5 value is 22 by 7 7 is 7 7 20 yeah. Then uh, it will be 5 puja 10 that is 100. 100 is multiplied by 22, it will be 2200 meter. If I convert in kilometer, it will be 2.200 kilometer. So that will be the distance we have found. Now let us talk about the displacement. So here uh, we will have the space. We will find the displacement that the displacement at the end of 140 seconds. So we can see here that completing one round for completing one round the athlete takes 40 seconds. So for uh, completing X rounds it is taking 140 seconds so cross multiply the things we will get that how many rounds will be taken 
in 140 seconds. So x will be is equal to 140 upon 40. 0 0 get cancelled, which is a 4 to 7 year. So it is 3.5 rounds. So it will be 3.5 rounds. So if I just take the 3.5 round here in the circular trap, if I start from here, so this will be your first round, this will be your second round, and this will be your third round. Now fourth round will be started from here and it will end here because this is three and a half. So this is the initial position and this will be your final position. Now uh, if I want to find the displacement here, so I will be having the shortest distance between initial and final position. So it is your diameter. So this diameter is given as uh, 200 meter. So the displacement uh, will be uh, 200 meter at the end of 140 seconds. So this is how we will solve this question. Let us uh, move on to the question 2. Question 2 is Joseph jogs from one end let the consider to be one end here to other end B of a state 300 meter road. This distance he is covering in 2 minute 30 seconds that is 120 plus 30 that is 150 seconds then turns around and jogs back to point C let the point C here so initially it is moving here in this direction now finally he is moving in this direction so covering 100 meter so uh, He is covering uh, from point B to point C in one minute. So if I say one minute, it means it is 60 seconds. So what are the Joseph average speed? We have to find average speed and your average velocity in jogging from A to B and also uh, in jogging from A to C. In both the cases, we have to find for uh, these distances. So let us uh, have the question. So when I take uh, the reference of distance A to B, this is the first case. So in this one, we have need to find out the average speed. So average speed will be equal to total distance upon total time taken so here we can see from a to b the distance is 300 meter and the time is 150 seconds so 151 jo 152 jo so it will be 2 meter per second now it is your average velocity average velocity will be equal to total displacement upon total time taken so total displacement again from point A to point B it will be the shortest distance only so it will be 300 meter and time taken is 150 seconds 151 jog 152 jog so it will be 2 meter per second so here also we can see average speed and average velocity will be remaining same in case of A to B. Now let us uh, have the case of uh, from point A to point C. So when I talk about average speed, that is the total distance. So it is the object is moving from A to B, that is 300 meter. Then uh, from B to C, so it will be 100 meter. So that will be the total distance upon total time initially it is taking 150 seconds then uh, the object is taking or the joseph is moving from point b to point c taking in 60 seconds so it will be 150 plus 60 so it will be 400 meter upon 210 seconds zero zero get cancelled so 40 upon uh,
so it will be 40 upon 21 40 upon 21 meter per second here uh, we are moving for next case that is your average velocity so average velocity will be the shortest uh, distance that is your displacement I will take so here uh, from point A to point C the displacement upon the time taken so uh, the displacement will be 300 meter minus 100 meter upon time will be 210 seconds so it will be 200 meter upon 210 seconds 0 0 get cancelled it will be 20 upon 21 meter per second this is how we will solve this question let's have our question 3 question 3 is uh, here Abdul while driving school compute computes the average speed for his trip to be 20 kilometer per hour so it is given as average speed for the trip is 20 kilometer per hour on his return trip along the same route uh, when there is a less traffic the average speed comes to be 30 km per hour so this is from let us say from home to school and this is from school to home then we have to find the average speed of Abdul trip so we are targeting on the average speed of complete trip so let us uh, uh, see here that average speed is equal to total distance let it be d upon time taken let it be time t1 so average speed in this case it is 20 km per hour is equal to d upon t1 so uh, t1 will be equal to d upon 20 km per hour here in this case average speed will be equal to distance will be remaining same d and time will be t2 so here the average speed which is given as 30 km per hour is equal to d upon t2 so t2 will be equal to d upon 30 km per hour so we have got the value of t1 in t2 now what we are need to find out we need to find out the average speed of the whole trip so uh, average speed is given as total distance so it is d plus d because first d is the distance from home to school and second d is the distance from school to home that will be remaining same so d plus d upon total time taken so it is t1 plus t2 so it will be 2d upon uh, d upon 20 plus d upon 30 so we have to take the LCM 2d upon it will be 60 here 23 ja, so 3d and 32 ja, it will be 2d so it will be 2d multiply with 60 upon uh, 5d d and d cancel 5 ja, 5 5 12 ja. 12 2 ja, 24 that will be 24 kilometer per hour So here it will be 24 kilometer per hour that will be the average speed of the whole trip. Moving to our next question we have question number 4 a motorboat starting from rest we can see here uh, the motorboat is there which is starting from rest so we have to take the initial velocity as 0 meter per second on a lake and it accelerate in a straight line at a constant rate of 3 meter per second square so here the acceleration is 3 meter per second square and it is happening for uh, 8 seconds so time taken is 8 seconds how far does the board travel during this time so means we have to find the distance 
so uh, we can see here we can use there are different equation of motion so here i'm using second equation of motion s is equal to ut plus half a t square so a uh, u value is given as zero meter per second time is given as eight second plus half a acceleration is given as three meter per second square time t square eight second whole square so it will be second and second cancel eight multiply with zero it will be zero plus half multiply with three meter upon second square multiply with eight it is 64 second square second square second square get cancel so two under two uh two three is six two is four then 32 three is how much 96 so it is 96 meter that is the distance traveled by the boat in eight second let us move on to our next question that is a question number five here we have question number five in question number five uh, it is given that a driver of a car traveling at 52 kilometer per hour so here driver of a car traveling at 52 kilometer per hour applies a brake and accelerate uniformly in opposite direction the car stops in 5 seconds after applying the brake the car stops in 5 seconds the, another driver going at another driver is there going at 3 km per hour in another car applies his brake slowly and stops in 10 seconds now on the same graph paper plot the speed versus speed versus time graph for two cars and which of the two cars traveled further after the brakes were applied so let us draw a simple representation of the graph so here uh, if it is 52 kilometer per hour if I convert in meter per second so it is 52 multiplied with 5 by 18 meter per second so if I solve this one it will be 14.44 meter per second and here 3 kilometer per hour means 3 multiplied with 5 by 18 meter per second so 3 into 3 3 uh, 6 yeah, 6 to 18 5.6 will be uh, 0 0.83 meter per second now we have to plot this one if it is 52 km per hour in 5 seconds so let it be here it is your speed and here it is your time this is your origin so somewhere here uh, it will be 0 then 1 then 2 2 let it, it will be there going on let it be here 14.44 meter per second the speed and and this is your time 5 seconds so this will be 5 and this will be 14.44 meter per second for uh, car B this is for car A this is for car A and for car B it is uh, 0 0.83 meter per second let it be somewhere here if it is 0 let it be here and time is 10 seconds let it be 10 seconds here and this is your 0 0.83 meter per second this is for car B now what we have to find out that how much uh, the two cars travel and after the brakes were applied so here we will be finding the area under the graph so by finding that we can get the distance traveled by the car a let us uh, try to find out uh, for car a distance traveled by car a distance traveled by car a so we will find the area under graph under graph so first uh, will be half base into height so it will be half the base value is 0 to 5 means 5 second and uh, height will be the speed that is 14.44 meter per second so it will be if I solve this one it will be 36.1 meter so that is the distance traveled by the car A. That is for distance traveled by car B. Distance traveled by 
star b so we will be finding area under the graph so here we will take the second case that is a uh, half base into height so here half base will be 10 second and height will be 0 0.80 meter per second that is the speed so if i solve this one it will be 4.15 meter so i can see that the car a uh, traveled more distance so we can say car a traveled more distance than uh, car b uh, when brakes are applied or we can say after brakes are applied so in this way we will solve this question now let's uh, move on to our next question that is question number six in question number six we can see the graph here so graph is shown uh, we show the distance time graph of three objects a b and c now study the graph and answer the following questions accordingly so let us see what are the questions which are given here the question a is uh, question a is which of the three is traveling the fastest so we have to uh, see that the the speed is is equal to the speed is equal to the equal to the slope of distance time graph so we have to check for the if you are trying to find out the comparison in terms of speed in the graph we will have to look it down for the slope in distance time graph now we will see that the slope of distance time graph for the object b for the object b is a uh, greatest uh, so the object b is traveling faster so object b is traveling fastest so we can see this one the slope is much greater as comparison to other slopes so the object b will be traveling fastest let us move to question b all are all the three ever at the same point on the road we can see that all the three objects will be at the same point on the road if all the three distance time graph intersect each other at a time it is possible only uh, when the the all the distance time graph intersect each other at a time since we can see here that uh, all the three distance time graph all the three distance time graph uh, do not intersect each other at the same time they are not intersecting at the same time so they will never or we can say so they are never at the same point on the road so we will say that they will never at the same point on the road this is only possible when at the same time uh, they are intersecting but here we can see in this graph all the three objects are never at the same point uh, at the same time so they will never intersect at the same time let us see here uh, not c1 how far the c is traveled when b passes a so here when b passes a when b passes a we can see the b graph this one is the b graph when b passes a so somewhere here we will see that the distance traveled by c uh, will be 9.6 minus 2 so it is 9.6 minus 2 that is 7.6 kilometer now moving to the d part how far the b traveled by the time it passes c how far the b traveled by the time it passes c somewhere here so it will be uh, 6 kilometer
let's move on to next question that is question number 7 in question number 7 is a ball is gently dropped from a height of 20 meter so that will be distance of 20 meter if its velocity increases uniformly at a rate of 10 meter per second square so here it is our acceleration which is given 10 meter per second square with what velocity it will strike the ground so it is your final velocity which is unknown and initially ball is gently dropped from a height so initially velocity of the object will be 0 meter per second and after what time will it strike the ground that is also the question mark so we can use our third equation of motion v square minus u square is equal to 2 as so here we have to find v square so v square equal to u square plus 2 as so v square is unknown u value is given 0 meter per second whole square plus 2 multiply with a a is given 10 meter upon second square multiply with s s is given as 20 meter so it will be it will be 0 plus it will be 10 to the 20 22 to the 20 20 to the 40 400 meter square per second square so it will be uh, where v which is will be 400 root over 400 meter square upon second square so it will be 20 meter per second so that will be the final velocity now uh, we need to find the time also so i'm using a uh, second equation of motion that is s is equal to ut plus half at square so here we need to find the time so here it will be s is given as 20 uh, meter u is given as 0 meter per second multiply with time plus half at a is given as 10 meter upon second square 10 meter per second square t square is not t is not given so it will be 20 meter is equal to 0 plus then it will be 2 into 2 2 5 the 10 so it will be uh, 5 t square now uh, 5 t square meter per second square now we can see here this meter and meter will get cancelled so it will be 20 is equal to 5 t square 5 5 4 ja. t value will be root over 4 so it will be 2 second so time here we will get as 2 seconds the ball will strike the ground after 2 seconds moving to our next question that is question number 8 here the question number 8 which is having a graph that is speed time graph is shown in the figure and accordingly we have to answer the questions so first question is find how far does the car travel in the first 4 seconds so time is given here so first 4 seconds is here just do the on the 4 second just draw the perpendicular so it is this point so this point indicate 6 so how far the car traveling first 4 second we will see here that distance time graph uh, is there so we will find the area under the graph so if you want to find the distance traveled by the car or the object we have to find the area under the graph so that will be uh, average speed so you see that that will be average speed and multiply with time so average speed will be 6 plus 0 upon 2 multiply with time that is 4 second so this will be meter per second 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 cancel 2 into 2 2 to the 4 6 to the 12 that is 12 meter this is the area under the graph now uh, the second part is the question is which part of the graph represent uniform motion of the car so uh, we will see that the straight part of the curve parallel to the time axis so we can see here that this part of the graph where uh, this is the curve part then after that it becomes straight so this part of the graph uh, indicate that uh, it represents a uniform motion of the graph uniform motion of the car it is the state part of the 
curve and that is parallel to time axis this indicate the uniform motion of the car let us move on to question number 9 question number 9 is state which of the following situations are possible and give example of each of these case a is an object an object is there with the constant acceleration but with the zero velocity in which case it is possible so we will see that one uh, when the object is vertically thrown upward so this case is possible when object thrown vertically upward and its velocity at the highest point so at the time its velocity at highest point will be 0 meter per second but it has a it has constant acceleration which is 9.8 meter per second square when it is when the object is thrown in a vertically upward direction and uh, let us have the second case second case is that an uh, an object moving in a certain direction an object moving in a certain direction with an acceleration so object is here this moves in uh, some certain direction and um, with an acceleration in a perpendicular direction so object is moving in a certain direction with an acceleration in perpendicular direction so this is possible when the object uh, moves in a circular path with uniform speed so the speed will be uniform but as the velocity keep on changing so acceleration is always will be perpendicular to the direction of the motion of the object now moving to our last question of the exercise part of the chapter that is question number 10 here an artificial satellite which is moving in a circular orbit that is having the radius of 42250 km we have to find that the satellite is used to be moving on the circular path that is on the circumference of the orbit so uh, we will see that the we have to find the speed and for taking one round the satellite takes 24 hours that is the time taken we have to find the speed so speed of uh, of moving object on a circular path is given as the distance upon time taken the distance will be circumference of circle that is 2 pi r upon and time is your t so 2 multiply with 5 multiply with the uh, this uh, radius that is 42250 km upon time is 24 hour now if we uh, solve this one we will get the result as 11065.48 km per hour so that is in terms of kilometer per hour we can convert in meter per second also say 11065.48 in 1 km is 1000 meter 
and in one hour it is 3600 seconds so here we will get the result in meter per second but we have already found in kilometer per hour so that will be enough to solve this question so this is how we will solve these questions now let us move on to our in text exercise questions of this chapter Here we have the first question of uh, in-text exercise. The question is: An object has moved through a distance. Can it has or have zero displacement? If yes, support your answer with the example. So yes, I will say the answer is yes. It is possible when an object. Has moved to a distance, it can have zero displacement. So the answer is yes. The displacement of the object can be zero. We can have an example like uh, we have a, a circular track. So it is a circular track, and it is given that a boy completes one round in. Five minutes. So the distance travelled by the boy will be equal to circumference of circle, that is two pi r. And however, the displacement travelled by the boy is zero. Because from which point the boy has started, now the boy is at the same point. So the displacement is zero. That is the shortest distance between uh, initial and final position. That is what we call as displacement. Let us uh, go for the next question. Next question is: A farmer moves along the boundary of a square field. So here we have a square field. Farmer used to move along the boundaries uh, of square field. Now this square field is having the side as 10 meter. So making or completing one round of square field, it takes 40 seconds. So we can just see. Four multiply with side. That is, that is the perimeter of the square. So four multiply with ten meter. Uh, that much distance is covered in forty seconds. So forty meter in forty second. So we can see here that in one second, uh, it is covering x meter. Cross multiply the things, we will be getting as forty upon forty. 0, 0 cancel 4 4 cancel so it is 1 meter so it is uh, in 1 second the farmer is covering 1 meter distance now uh, they are asking what will be the magnitude of displacement so they are asking for displacement of the farmer at the end of at the end of 2 minute 20 second from its initial position. When I say 2 minutes 20 second, it is uh, 60 plus 60, 120, 140 seconds. So after 140 seconds, uh, at what position or at what displacement will be there? So let us see how much, uh, if it is uh, 
for one second uh, the form is traveling one meter so in uh, 140 second the former will travel x meter cross multiply the things it will be 140 meter so former will travel 140 meter now we can see here if the former is traveling 140 meter so how many rounds it will take so uh, if i take 140 meter this uh, number of rounds the farmer will take in the square feet that is 140 divided by 10 or you can just uh, calculate in this way also uh, as we find that uh, 40 seconds uh, is there for uh, completing one round the former used to have uh, we have to find for 140 seconds so 40 seconds per one round so if i start from here so this will be uh, one round the first round is taking 40 seconds now uh, from here again i will start go for the second round it will be for second round it will be for second round that is again 40 seconds now uh, third round it will be third round it will be 40 seconds so 40 40 40 120 seconds now in the fourth round as i start i have only 20 seconds so i will be from i will start from this position and i will reach to this position so this will be the uh, two positions this will be initial position and this will be final position so we can see here that uh, we need to find out uh, the displacement displacement is the distance between initial and final position so this one is 10 meter and this one is 10 meter we need to find this particular hypotenuse with length so it will be Pythagoras theorem so x square will be equal to 10 square 100 10 square 100 so x will be equal to root over 200 so root over 200 means 10 root 2 10 root 2 meter or we can say 14.14 meter then i will multiply with 1.44 so i will be getting as 114.14 meter that will be the displacement uh, in this case now let's have our next question question number three in question number three uh, in question number three we can have here We have the question that which of the following is uh, true for displacement that uh, whether it is true it cannot be zero here it is written that displacement uh, cannot be zero it is true or false uh, we will see here that uh, it is a false statement it is a false statement um, because we find that the displacement uh, of an object which travels at a certain distance which travels a certain distance and comes back to its initial position is zero in the second point we are asking whether that is true for the displacement that its magnitude displacement 
magnitude is greater than distance traveled by the object this particular statement is also a false statement because the displacement of an object because the displacement of an object can be equal to the distance traveled but cannot be possible that displacement magnitude is greater than distance traveled let's move on to the next question we have here the question is distinguish between speed and velocity so here we are uh, writing in tabular arrangement speed and here i am writing here velocity so uh, you can see here the distance traveled by an object per unit time is known as speed so we will write the first point distance traveled by an object per unit time is known as its speed what about velocity we will say distance travel by an object in a particular direction that is what we call as displacement per unit time is known as its velocity speed used to tell us how fast the object or how fast the object or an object moves and velocity tells how fast an object moves and in which direction it moves speed is a scalar quantity and velocity is a vector quantity speed of an object is always positive and velocity of an object can be positive or negative speed of an object is always positive but can never be negative or zero so in this way uh, we have distinguished the difference between uh, that is we distinguish between speed and uh, velocity now we can have our next question that is under what conditions the magnitude of average velocity magnitude of average velocity of an object is equal to its average speed so this will be possible when an object moves 
in one direction along a straight line. As we know that average speed is equal to total distance traveled in a particular time frame and your average velocity is total displacement in a particular time frame so this average speed and average velocity uh, will be equal when you will get total distance traveled is equal to your total displacement and this will be only possible when object travels in straight path now moving to our next question what does the odometer of an automobile measure. Here, uh, your odometer is also called odograph, and uh, it is a device that measures the distance traveled by vehicles and this is based on the parameter of the wheel as the wheel rotates here we have the next question in this questions question is what does the path of an object look like when it is in uniform motion so here an object moves in uniform motion so it means the object moves in which path so here we can have the path of the object or path of an object when it is in uniform motion it will be a straight line or you can say your straight path now we are at in the next question here in this question it is given that during an experiment a signal from spaceship reached the ground station so here uh, spaceship and this one is your ground station so signal reaches to ground station in 5 minute this will be the time this 5 minute means 5 multiplied with 60 that is uh, 300 second what was the distance of the spaceship from the ground so we need to find the distance here and uh, the signal travel at the speed of light the speed of light is given as that is 3 multiplied with 10 for 8 meter per second with this speed the signal travels so we know uh, that 
distance is equal to velocity that is speed multiplied with time so we need to find the distance so velocity is given as 2 into 10 power 8 meter per second time is given as 300 second 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 get cancelled now 3 is 9 and 9 multiplied by 10 power 11 meter so the distance between spaceship and the ground station is 9 multiplied by 10 power 11 now we are with our next question here the question is when you will say a body is in uniform acceleration so this will be possible when uh, when the object basically when the object used to travel in straight line with an increase in velocity at equal interval of time so then the object is said to be in uniform acceleration means velocity changes by equal amount it shows that here velocity changes by equal amount in equal interval of time now the second part of the question is that when you will say that the body is in non-uniform acceleration so this will be possible when velocity changes the velocity of an object changes by an unequal amount in equal interval of time so under this condition we will say the object is said to be having non-uniform acceleration so we can have the example of uniform acceleration when uh, it is possible when an object fall freely freely falling object is an example of uniform acceleration and for non-uniform acceleration we will see that when bus moves from bus stop that is an example of non-uniform acceleration because I find that here the change in velocity uh, will be unequally happening in equal interval of time now we are with next question the question is a bus decreases its speed from 80 km per hour to 60 km per hour in 5 seconds the time frame is taken that is 5 seconds initially velocity is 80 km per hour now the final velocity reaches to 60 km per hour here we find there is a decrease in speed so we can just convert it 80 multiply with 5 by 18 it will be in meter per second so 2 9 here 2 4 2 here 5 4 is 20 200 upon 9 meter per second this will be 60 multiply with 5 by 18 in terms of meter per second 6 2 30 here 2 9 here 30 15 150 upon 9 meter per second we need to find the acceleration of the bus so acceleration is given mathematically change in velocity v minus u final minus initial velocity upon time so v is given as 150 upon 9 minus 200 upon 9 in bracket it will be meter per second divided by time is given as 5 
second. Now it will be 9 here. It is 150 minus 200. In bracket, it is a meter per second. Now it will be 1 upon 5 second. So minus 50 upon 9 meter per second square. Now if I divide this one, it will be minus 1.11. So here it is a 45 also. So it will be 9 pi to 45. So if I divide this one, it will be minus 1.11 meter per second square so that will be the acceleration here moving to our next question we have here a train starting from railway station so this is your railway station so train starting from railway station and moving with uniform acceleration attains a speed of uh, uh, 40 km per hour so uh, if it is starting from railway station it will be initial velocity which is 0 meter per second and when it is a final velocity it is your 40 km per hour you have to convert this 40 km per hour into meter per second 40 multiply with 5 by 18 so it will be in meter per second to uh, 20 year to 9 year so it is 5 to 10, 100 upon 9 meter per second. Now uh, I can divide this one, 100 upon 9, it is 11.11 meter per second. Now uh, how much time is taken during for conversion of this one? It is for attaining this velocity, it is 10 minutes. So that 10 minute will be, 1 minute will be having 60 seconds. So 10 is 600 seconds we will say. Now we have to find the acceleration. So acceleration mathematically it is given as final velocity minus initial velocity divided by the time taken. So final velocity is your 11.11 minus initial velocity 0. In bracket I will write on meter per second. Divided by time is 600 second. 11.11 divided by 600. So it will be 11.11 divided by 600. So it will be divided as 0 0.0185 meter per uh, second square. So this will be the acceleration in this case. Let's move on to the next question here. Here the question is what is the nature of distance time graph? That is dt graph for case of uniform motion of an object and for case of non-uniform motion of an object so if it is your uh, distance time graph in case of uniform motion we will be having uh, a straight line a straight line having constant gradient and uh, we can just show here in this way this will be distance and this will be time this is your distance time graph this will be origin and the graph will be in this way so it is a straight line passing through the origin and uh, for non-uniform motion we will see that uh, here it will be a curve uh, having increasing slope or having decreasing slope that will be showing the non-uniform motion so you can show in this way here it will be distance and here it is time so this is your increasing slope in another graph this will be a distance this will be time and this is showing the decreasing slope both are having uh, the curve uh, graph or the nature of the graph is curve so we can also see here that here you will see the speed increases with time here we can see the speed increases with time and here we will see that the speed decreases with time now let's move on to our next question 
question is what can you say about the motion of an object whose distance time graph so here uh, it is given that distance time graph is a straight line line parallel to time axis so it is in this way it is your distance and it is your time here the distance time graph is a straight line parallel to the time axis so they are saying that what you will say about motion of an object so we can see here that the motion of an object you can see uh, i can observe that the distance of an object is not changing so here we can observe that distance of an object is not changing with time so the distance of an object is not changing it means that object is at rest or you can say object is stationary now we are having our next question what can you say about the motion of an object when the if it speed time graph here if your speed time graph showing a straight line parallel to time axis that is in this way this is your velocity or speed this will be time and it is shown in this way so here you can see a straight line parallel to the time axis it means that what we can say about the motion of object so we will see that there is a no change in velocity of object with respect to time so we will say that object is in uniform motion that is object is moving with a, a fixed a constant velocity that is an example of uniform motion moving to our next question which what is the quantity what is the quantity which is measured by area occupied below velocity time graph so we have a velocity time graph velocity time graph is there so let us see here the object is moving with a constant velocity so we will have this graph let consider this point a and this point b you want to draw a perpendicular here so this is the area under the graph so what we can find here what is the quantity of which is measured by the area area below velocity time graph it is your magnitude of the displacement magnitude of displacement now we have another question here uh, in this question you can see that a bus starting from rest moves with a uniform acceleration of 0.1 meter per second square so acceleration is given as 0.1 meter per second square for 2 minutes time is given as 2 minutes 2 minutes means 2 multiplied with 1 minute will be having 60 seconds so it is 120 seconds we have to find the speed acquired a that is speed acquired when the bus starts from rest its initial velocity will be 0 meter per second and here we have to find the final velocity 
the second one is we have to find the distance traveled that is s so uh, we have our first equation of motion that is v is equal to u plus v. we have to find v here u is given as 0 meter per second plus acceleration is given as 0 0.1 meter per second square and time is given as 120 seconds so v will be equal to 0 0.1 multiplied with 120 meter per second so it will be so i will remove the decimal it will be 10 way 0 0 get cancelled so it is 12 meter per second that will be the velocity that is the final velocity that is the speed required now we need to find the second part that is the distance so we are using uh, second equation of motion that is uh, s is equal to ut plus half at square so here we have u value that is 0 meter per second time is 120 second plus half multiply with a acceleration is given as 0 0.1 meter per second square and time is given as 120 second so 120 second whole square now it will be 0 plus half multiply with 1 upon 10 multiply with 120 and multiply with 120 so it will be uh, second square second square we will be getting cancelled so it will be in terms of meter so 0 and 0 get cancelled then uh, 2 on the 2 2 6 here so 12 6 here how much 72 so it is 720 meter Moving to our next question, uh, here we have the next question that a train is traveling at a speed of 90 km per hour. So the train is initially traveling with the speed of 90 km per hour, it means initial velocity is 90 km per hour. We have to convert in meter per second, so 90 is multiplied with 5 by 18, it will be in meter per second. Now 9 one year, 9 10 year, 9 2 year, 2 one year, 2 2 5 year, so 5 5 year, 25 so meter per second will be the initial velocity now brakes are applied brakes are applied when brakes are applied uh, so definitely the velocity of the train will be uh, zero that is the final velocity will become zero meter per second now uh, as the brakes are applied it produces a uniform acceleration of minus 0 0.5 meter per second square and we need to find out how far the train will go before it brought to rest so we can use uh, here our third equation of motion so it is v square minus u square is equal to 2a s then s will be equal to v square minus u square upon 2a so we can if the values v value is 0 so 0 meter per second whole square minus u square that is 25 meter per second whole square divided by 2 multiplied with acceleration that is minus 0 0.5 meter per second square so it will be 0 minus 625 meter square per second square divided by 5 to 10 it will be 1.0 meter per second square minus 625 divided by minus 1 and here it is meter per second square and it will be second square upon meter square second square second square get cancelled meter 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 cancel so one meter will be remaining it will be uh, minus minus get cancelled to 625 meter so here the train will go 625 meter before it brought to rest moving to our next question here we are having the question that a trolley 
while going down in an inclined plane so this is your inclined plane this one will be your inclined plane <laughs> has an acceleration of 2 cm per second square so acceleration is given in terms of centimeter per second square and what will be its velocity so initially uh, uh, the velocity of uh, the trolley is 0 centimeter per second and we need to find the final velocity we can see here uh, what will be its velocity 3 second, second after the start so time frame is given as 3 second so let us see here we need to find v first equation of motion i will be using v minus u is equal to a t v will be equal to u plus a t so u is given as 0 centimeter per second plus acceleration is given as 2 centimeter per second square and time frame is given as 3 second so it is 3 to 6 6 centimeter per second 6 centimeter per second will be uh, 6 centimeter per second will be the uh, velocity here let us move to our next question a racing car has a uniform acceleration of 4 meter per second square so acceleration is given for the racing car that is a 4 meter per second square and what distance will it cover in 10 seconds so we need to find the distance covered in time frame of 10 seconds so we can see here uh, the initially uh, after the initially the car initially the car will be having the velocity as 0 meter per second now uh, now this we will use the we will use the second equation of motion second equation of we will be having second equation motion that is s equal to ut plus half a t square that is the second equation of motion u is given as 0 meter per second time is given as 10 second plus half a acceleration is given as 4 meter per second square and t is given as 10 second so 10 second square so it will be 0 plus half multiplied with 4 multiplied with 10 multiplied with 10 it will be second square upon second square multiplied with meter this will get cancelled 2 into 2 to the 4 so 20 into 100 100 to the 200 so it is 200 meter uh, that is the distance covered by the racing car uh, in 10 seconds after the start now we are at the next question a stone is thrown vertically in upward direction so we are throwing the stone in a vertically upward direction with a velocity of 5 meter per second so initially the velocity is 5 meter per second if if the acceleration of the stone during its motion is uh, is 10 meter per second square that is the acceleration in the downward direction what will be the height attained by the stone so we have to find the distance covered by the stone and how much time it will take is there and time frame we have to find so as we can see uh, the acceleration is given uh, of the stone during its motion in the downward direction so acceleration will be minus 10 meter per second square your uh, final velocity uh, will be zero because as the stone reaches to the maximum height we will see that the stone will be having the final velocity as 0 meter per second so let us take the second equation of more third equation of motion v square minus u square is equal to 2 a s so s will be equal to v square minus u square upon 2 a so v is given as 0 meter per second whole square minus u is given as 5 meter per second whole square divided by 2 multiplied with a that is 10 meter per second square now it will be 0 minus 5 by 25 meter square per second square divided by minus 20 meter per second square minus minus get cancelled it is 5 4 ja 5 5 ja so 5.4 meter so if it is 5.4 it is 1.25 meter that will be the 
distance uh, that is the height the stone uh, will acquire now uh, we have our first equation of motion v is equal to u plus at we will use this one so here we need to find the time so it is a uh, v minus u upon a so v is given as how much that is a uh, zero and uh, u is u is given five in bracket meter per second divided by acceleration as minus ten meter per second square so it is minus five upon minus ten uh, second five into five five to the ten and minus one has cancelled half half means 0.5 second so it is 0.5 second the time will be uh, the time uh, it will take to use there so these are the questions which are there in the in test uh, in text exercise of this chapter